get married. Mark S. Allen meets the bride and groom and gets them ready to say, I do. And one of the leading Japanese anime artists is speaking at the fair this weekend. Get a sneak peek at some of his work. Oh, Julian's going insane. and alligators and he is the man when it comes to the world of anime after break we'll talk to one artist to look at what the future holds in this technology and we're hosting he's one of the leading japanese anime artists in the world and some of his works include writing and directing robotech the shadow chronicles cody is very excited to be with our guest this morning yeah it's tommy you and hey tommy how you doing man good morning very nice to meet you a uh, robotech i mean this was this was a thing kind of launched anime in america of course in japan it was huge but before this here in america people were like what, what is yes it? uh there were very few series such as speed racer in the united states mm -hmm. and robotech is what really opened uh, the doors of anime into the U.S. Uh, market. Okay, so if, if people are at home aren't familiar with anime, what's what's the difference between that and say I don't it's know, uh, Nemo? it's an aesthetic uh, form that uh, was developed in Japan. Uh -huh. uh, it's the animation format that uh, is very popular over there and has become very popular around the world. And this was like '85 in Robotech. Yes, or? this started in 1985. Just to show you, it started on Laserdisc, and now it's on Blu-ray. Oh yeah, look at that! Yeah. Oh my God, the Laserdisc. <laughs> I thought it was an album at first. That, that's cool. That's very cool. I used to work at a KB Toys, and I used to stock this right here, this big, giant SD, yes. SDF-1 playset. Oh, this is awesome. So this is, uh, this is classic right here. This is uh, all good in the box and everything. Yeah, this is uh, like an unbelievable collection. Uh, this is uh, from uh, the collection of Sacramento's own uh, Andrew Leung. Uh, some of the stuff he's got here is better than the condition of stuff I've got. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so we've got one out of the box right here. As we talk, could you uh, transform it into something? Oh, yeah. The, I mean, More what was amazing about the show is how some of the transformation that occurred on the animated series, I mean, could really transform into the toy for real and so you had this gigantic robot that in a matter of moments turned into a space battleship oh cool look at that wow yeah. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, so uh, when people come up to you, and uh, I mean, people are really into this, uh, what's like the most specific crazy questions that you get? Do you get like that, why did, uh, did Lisa jump out of the SDF-2 and get to the FDF-1 before the thing exploded? And stuff? Oh my goodness, you have really been watching the show. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Julie uh, and I don't get out much. The, the, um, the biggest questions we get is the uh, what happened to the main character, uh, Rick Hunter, who be begins in the beginning of the series as a young person pilot uh -huh. and he ends up as the admiral of the fleet and so we've actually continued the series uh, with Robotech the Shadow Chronicles so the story continues on to this day. Oh okay, so did it answer some of those questions? Uh, no, of course not. We're <laughs> always going to string the audience along. We're always going to add a new adventure for them to follow. Okay, very cool. So where are you going to be today so people can meet you? Oh yes, we're going to be at Stage 9's Get Animated Exhibit at the California State Fair. Okay. Uh, this is going to occur